Alrighty, good morning guys. Well, looks like what we're doing this week is we're going to be starting a new unit. And as you can probably tell, that unit is going to be tennis. So to get started today, we're just going to kind of get a feel for how to hold a racket. Uh, there's two ways that we're going to learn today how to hold a racket. And they're both pretty um, intermediate level, beginner level ways to hold a racket. Um, so everyone can grab a racket and the first way we're going to learn to hold a racket is called continental. So basically what you do is you hold your racket as if you were using the edge of it as a hammer. So act like you were hammering the ground and that's how you want to hold your racket. It's very um, vertical to the ground and when you hit the ball it's a clean hit. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. It's a good way to guarantee you hit the ball. Uh, the next way we're going to talk about is an eastern hold, which you basically rotate the racket forward in your hand by one notch on the racket. There's these little notches on the racket, so you put your thumb on one to the left. If you're right-handed, this. If you're left-handed, this. That way when you hit it, your racket is actually tilted a little bit forward so that when you hit it, it puts a top spin on the ball, it creates the ball to spin like this, which makes it go down over the net a little bit quicker. So what we're going to do is I want you to grab your rackets and we're going to start with the continental. And we're just going to hold it straight like this, act like you're hammering. Okay, once you get that, once you get a feel for that. Alright, so now that we've learned how to hold a racket, I want you to choose whatever is most comfortable for you. And we're going to practice hitting the ball a little bit, just dribbling it, bouncing it, just getting a feel for how it feels against the racket. Uh, so what I want you to do is grab your racket and act and put it horizontal with the ground like so. And what I want you to do first is have your back hand like this over the racket and just practice hitting the ball a few times like this. Just to get a feel, just up and down. See if you can get 20 bounces, all right? All right, and once you get 20 bounces, we're gonna switch it the other way. And I want you to have it like this, your thumb like this. We're gonna bounce it like that. Once you feel comfortable with that, flip it back over and bounce it against the ground. You might have to hit it a little harder to do this. And let's do 20 of each of those. Once you feel comfortable with uh, playing with the ball a little bit, bouncing the ball up and down with your racket, we're going to practice hitting. Uh, we're not going to go right into a full game yet, so what I want you to do is grab a ball, grab a racket, go up to the fence here, and just practice swinging and hitting it into the fence just to get a feel for what it feels like. So you bounce the ball. Alright, the next thing I'd like to talk about with you guys is what's called a front hand and a back hand swing. There's two different kinds of swings. Um, so I'm left handed, so a front hand swing is going to look like this for me. So with my left hand, when I'm swinging it with just my left hand, using my hand is in the back of the racket like such. Uh, one of the main things that you should remember when using a, a front hand swing is that it's not all about your shoulder and your arm. You actually want to keep your arm, keep your elbow tucked next to your hip. Act as if it's attached to your hip. And it's really a full body, your whole core is used to swing. So you really want to swing with your whole body. Don't just swing with your arms because you'll end up getting a sore shoulder and your ball won't go exactly where you want it to go. So this is a front hand swing. A back hand swing is when you use both hands. So you place your non-dominant hand on top of your dominant hand. And it's the same thing from the other direction. You want to keep your elbow tucked, keep it in with your hip, both hands, and swing through with your whole body. Use your whole body to swing through. Um, so I want you to grab your racket and just practice. Get in a ready stance. Don't be just standing here like this. You want to have your knees bent a little bit. Have good balance. Be in a ready stance. Practice swinging 